Hey babes, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I am Shantae. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. Okay, come on. Come on and join the family. I love to talk shit. I love to do my hair. I love to do a bunch of different things. But we're going to bring you along for the journey every step of the way. So let's go ahead and get into this makeup. I got my mirror right here. I'm going to clean her off because she's a little dusty. Ugh. Then I just bought me this nice little waffle robe. It's from Walmart. It was like $18, I think, maybe 12. I don't remember. My husband paid for it. It came in a black and a white and I got black because all black everything. Okay. I'm gonna stick with the black for now, but I probably might go back and get the white because why not have both? <laughs> Why not have both? My moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with Clinique. I'm a Clinique girl. When it comes to my face routine, like wash and all of that, I I kind of stick to my Clinique. It's a super primer and it's more like a lotion. It definitely moisturizes the skin. Like, have y'all ever, were y'all the pearl active girlies back in middle school? I definitely was. And I'm so glad that I started that journey back in middle school. So now as an adult, I don't skim out on my skincare. I'm a die hard, make sure I do my routine twice a day, all that. But anything outside of them three steps, baby, you done lost me. I might add one serum, one. Go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I actually do like it. It has like this little tacky feeling. So if you are not a fan of tackiness and you're, you know, a little funny about the textures on your face, this might not be the one for you. My eyebrows definitely need to be plucked. Hopefully y'all just can't see it on camera because baby, I ain't doing it today. My fan did. So make sure it's dry and then you'll start to feel like that tackiness. All I really want to do is just get rid of my dark circles and contour a little bit. And I'm good. I'm happy, you know? It doesn't take much to please me. I use Juvia's Place. One, because she's inexpensive, like $10. It usually lasts me at least a couple of months before I have to go back and refill it. And I love the coverage. And it's buildable coverage. So just in case I have like a pimple or, you know, it's that time of the month. We looking a little scarier than usual. I can kind of build upon the concealer to kind of help conceal and I don't look so you know get the fuck out my face ish cleansing this out quick ad break I am in my grown woman era okay I am bringing chic casual comfortable modest but also serving sexy at the same time you need to be shopping with me at express I just joined the style editor express program where I'm bringing you outfits for the summer all of these outfits will be linked down below in my description box then I'm gonna go in with a even lighter shade and this is just gonna go right here in the corner of my eyes that was in the shade 14 still going in with Juvia's place for my contour I'm going in with the number eight and I'm gonna do around my forehead you know the usual places that you contour we we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here and I like to do this because I feel like it wakes up my brush I, to be honest I don't know if it's doing anything it probably ain't but to me it makes me feel better and that's all that damn matter I feel like I did a lot better on this side than I did on the other side and now I'm jealous um it has like this nice little pointy piece on the end so it's like perfect for getting in the inner corner of the eye I put too much I showed it mm. Bring it on around town, honey. We gotta set this mess. I'm going in with my Beauty Bakery and this is in the color yellow. Setting my eyebrows helps with me using my brow pencil. It's now time to add that warmth back to the face and I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. And the bronzer I'm using is by Fenty Beauty and it's in the color Mocha Mommy. <laughs> I love saying that. It's pretty much do right here and I don't really detour from much of that. I like to keep my bronzer right on the edge of my face and my forehead. I'm gonna go in with another Juvia's Place and this is the Volume 2 Blush Duo. So you can definitely build this one up without overdoing it and I think that's what I love the most about this pinky. Morphe Brow Pencil and this is in the color Java. Lately, I've switched from Java and went to Mocha, which is a little bit lighter. This one is a darker one. I don't care for the bold brows anymore. I like the fun sketched out ones that look like they're barely there. I'm very light handed with this pencil because I don't, again, want it to be a very bold brow. There's one brow down, now it's time to do the other one. All right, to highlight my beautiful cheeks, I'm going in with this pearlized gold by ColourPop. Not stray from my gold, honey. Not even a yellow gold. I really just use this pearlized gold. I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow because I feel like I haven't done eyeshadow in a while. My Juvia's Place, the coffee shop. And it's pretty much nothing but browns because that's that's literally all I do. I ain't even gonna 
sit here in front and be like, I'm a color girly anymore. I'm not. Um, since it's still daytime, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral. I'm going to go in with this little brown right here, this little tan color right here that's just like a few shades darker than me. And I'm going to smear her on my brow, my lid, I mean. Lord help me. I'm not smearing it. I'm, I'm rather more patting it in place. I'm going to take what is supposed to be a clean brush to, <laughs> to blend it so it don't look so damn harsh. I'm feeling a little matte. So I'm going to go in with this little pale matte color right in the corner. And I'm patting it right in place. And I might have picked up a little too much on that one. I'm gonna now go in with my mascara and I have been using the Fenty Beauty and this is the hella thick and I just love the name that was literally the only reason why I picked it up all of the Fenty Beauty line like all those names just sound like something you want to put on your face hella thick oh yes absolutely for my lashes please give me all the volume because that's what I need I got the length I just need the volume they a little scarce have I made it to godlike status when it comes to mascara? I believe I have. <laughs> like, should I wear lashes? No, because my my lashes look fabulous with this goddamn mascara. Do you, do y'all, do, do y'all see it? Why are you, why are you mad? Just go ahead and get you the mascara, sis. Just go ahead and get it. Lately, <laughs> I've been going with just some simple ass clear lip gloss. It's a simple lip gloss seems to be doing the trick for me. Cause I like to have that like sheen look to the face, not oily. Like it, there, there's a, there's a thin, thin line between oily and matte, and I, that's that's where I want to be, right there. we go loves we are all done for this makeup look and i did forehead wrap styles with my natural hair if you would love to check out that tutorial it was uploaded yesterday i will have the link provided for you down below do not forget to hit the like button if you love seeing content like this here on our channel we greatly appreciate having you guys here and we're thankful to our 8,000 subscribers we appreciate y'all so much and we love y'all have a beautiful and blessed weekend